my god. Hi everybody, my name is Jessica Holyfield and I'm a professional dance choreographer and dance educator based out of the southeast of the United States and we are here taking a look at Line of Nine's Judges Showcases, the popping segment. So we're going to have Hoan, Fireback, and Mr. Wiggles. I'm very pumped for this because also from the time that I was looking at the rounds of Line of Nine's popping segment to now, I have been taking a journey doing one-on-ones with Castro who is based out of New York. Um, for popping so I can understand my own groove understand how to pop more effectively so I can also be an advocate for the popping culture within the niche of scope that I have here on YouTube and in dance so I'm very excited to kind of look at this with kind of a fresher lens than the last line of nine popping um, video that I did so without further ado let's go ahead and check this out first up hold on let's go Ready. His shirt is everything. His pants are sick too. Oh yeah, this track, come on. This track is dope. Yeah. That was dope. That was cool. I love how he's like, I'm done. Peace. <laughs> this this track is sick AF though, for real. Okay, moving on. We got fire back. Let's go. I love it. Theirs are so different. Like you had, like you got them just hyping it up like we're at a session, but then you had whacking. They did a whole freaking show. Ooh. Oh, come on. Oh, you hear that? Yeah, he caught that and he knew he did too. Yes, he did. Yeah, 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 yo, that was dope, that was dope. See how he knocked that. Ah, oh, look at the groove and the chest on this. Yo, look at that. Uh. Quirky. Ooh, ooh, spicy, spicy. <coughs> yeah.
yeah, yeah, yeah. All the speed changes are filthy, my guy. Thank you, Fireback, for that. Oh, that was cool. I really like how he holds his groove. Now, if you don't know what groove is, groove is the soul. It's your flavor. It's not a style. It's your flavor. Who you are as a person. It's, oh, uh, that was divine. I really, really enjoyed how he explored it. Inspirational for me as somebody who's really trying to navigate what that feels like to me. So that's kind of what I'm really focusing in on. Um, there with Hoan, I couldn't quite catch it as much how he holds. He definitely carries a more technician approach with how he chooses to syncopate and ride certain parts of the music. But here, you can feel it a little bit more. And then we're about to hit Wiggles. And he's kind of like, he's probably going to be that textbook standard that you see in how and how he how he moves through it as a practitioner. So I really enjoyed how, how Fireback was moving through that. All right, here we go. Mr. Wiggles. <laughs> Yeah. I wasn't expecting this one. Uh. Look at him leading with the chest on his groove. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was a freaking atomic bomb. Oh my God. Like, oh my God. That I got pretty emotional watching the first half of this one because it was like, whenever you're, whenever, whenever you're, you're training in an area that you're really vulnerable in, or it's a huge, like underdeveloped area. And for me, it is groove. Like I'm able to do it in choreography way better now, but I had to fail a lot to understand how certain sequences match the flow of the torso. And so I'm able to, therefore, by empathizing with that process, pick up on choreography when you see it versus the absence of it. But when it comes to freestyle of movement, to me, I was able to look at Wiggles. He's like, he is such a prime example of the beauty of, he is history that man is walking history. So the amount of influence that man has had in the world, complete understatement of a statement to even make. 
And um, I did get emotional because I was able to finally click the beauty of how a popping pocket operates because of focusing on the groove. Like that's a really big struggle for me. Like I said, for the freestyle element of things, I get really restrictive because I'm so busy trying to make my flow make sense. Waving too. Like waving is a little bit easier for me to kind of do it, but I itemize it still too much. I'm not as polyrhythmic on it. So it doesn't feel as matured by nature. I see that, but it's still a really big struggle and a lot of humility I have to display to grow in that. And so I feel very humbled and inspired of the fact that I feel like I've unlocked a new way of being able to appropriately and respectfully look at popping movement quality. I feel like a, a like a, my, the scales have fallen and I, I, and I get it. Like I understand it. Like I know how incredible of a mover Wiggles is, but like I get it. Like I feel it now. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm able to see specifically what beauties he was able to showcase there. Wow. That, this was, this was, this was awesome. Wow. Thank you guys so much for taking a little deep dive here with me on just looking at the judges showcases. As you can tell by my eyes, I enjoyed them. And if you want to see my actual round perspective on popping um, for lineup nine, remember, keep in mind, I am a choreographer and that's the majority of my scope. I am actively training one-on-one -on -one in popping movement quality and freestyle. So I am picking up on more nuances nowadays, but at the time that I did my analysis, not analysis, but overview reaction of the lineup nine popping, section I had not begun yet so please keep that in mind please extend grace to me and my perspective there I do feel like I'm operating differently now than I was there hey I'm a human right um, and uh, if you want to see more I've tackled whacking and the judges showcases at this point for that hip-hop and open I still got locking it's still on my radar but we're taking it a day at a time this was awesome I'm glad to uh, be able to watch this with you guys once again my name is Jess and I'll catch you on the flip side bye